Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is Irish Donna Terrell. My name is Donna. We're getting ready to do the Aries love reading for this, um, for December. The Aries love reading. Let's see what we have. Is the overall energy from spirit in this reading. We have masculine lunar god. 42, the number 6. A number of stability, of moving forward, of advancing and creating value. Number six is a card of healing. The darkness, long night moon. Okay, so you may have been in a period of darkness with your person. You're entering one or exiting one and resistance, the waning crescent moon. So what we're seeing here for you, Aries, is that you are, there's something about this relationship that you struggle with, that you resist accepting about your person. So let's jump into the reading for you and see what we have. We have the Lightseer's Tarot. So let's see what we have for the overall energy that you're bringing in. We have Page of Cups. So there is somebody that you love, that you care about very deeply, the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, when we get the Knight of Pentacles reversed, it shows that you've devoted a lot of time to the relationship. And it's speeding up at this time. It's not going so slowly. You're making a lot of firm decisions about what you want. And nice, the moon reversed. Pisces, Virgo, Pisces energy. So what we're seeing here for you, Aries, is that you do have a sense of direction at this time in the relationship. Your whatever confusion you've had about wanting this relationship, it looks as though you've cleared that up. So I think this will probably be very familiar to most of you, but you are waiting for your masculine to really sort of come around, I think. So let's see in the recent past, the mutual energy between you and your person is a nine of wands. Sagittarius energy, fire in your belly. Both of you are feeling very much like you want the relationship. You want this to work out. You have fire in your belly. You've been through some trials and tribulations, though, with that nine. It speaks uh, to probably a very substantially a lengthy relationship or, or at least one that's probably nine months old or more. We see the mutual energy between you and your loved one is the King of Swords reversed. So I feel when the King of Swords reversed is present, it's a little bit troublesome because the King of Swords upright can be cold and aloof, can be an energy that is, you know, just very much checked out of their emotions, very much like judge, jury, executioner. But when we get the King of Swords reversed, that's like I'm ready to wield a sword. And so your relationship, I think, is at a real turning point, is how I'm reading this, is that, you know, you the two of you have, you're at a nine over here, you have fire in your belly to make it work. But if it doesn't work, both of you have really given your all, and you just feel as though if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and that's it. So there is sort of a resoluteness here about that energy. The Three of Cups reversed is your person is viewing the relationship as you have been their best friend for many, you know, for a long time now. And they feel as though some of that, that emotion has been waning. It's Cancerian energy. They feel as though you're not as close as you used to be. The way they see you is they see you holding back, you know, holding yourself in in high regard they see you standing in your power but they also see you as being reserved pulling back uh being a little bit defensive being somewhat closed off because we have seven wands here um that is the energy of leo so we have your person feeling as though they think you the way they view you as somebody who is very defensive right now and someone who's just holding your ground in their heart space, we have the Six of Swords reversed. There's some old wounds in this relationship that seem to really be haunting the relationship at this time. Your person feels, you know, it's almost like they're looking back at you from an almost a hanged man position, uh, trying to move forward. But, you know, in a lot of ways, I, you know, I'm not really sure what that means for each of you, but it, it clearly looks as though your person does not know how to deal with the issues the painful situations in the past 
So when we look at the way they view the, the route or the path forward in the relationship with you, is the death card reversed? Okay, so they don't want it to end. Your person is certainly in this energy of not wanting your relationship to end, Scorpio energy. We have Aquarius energy trying to become enlightened. But it really looks like your person feels pretty, pretty, and like they're in a difficult situation. The hidden energy between the two of you is the devil reversed. Well, I like the devil reversed. The devil reversed uh, is telling me that both of you are working up, uh, up and on getting very clear about what you want. The devil reversed is losing the toxicity in the relationship. The death card reversed also, reverse also speaks to the fact that your person wants to get rid of the toxicity, but they don't want to get rid of the relationship. So it's a death and rebirth. So they are holding on to you. The nine of cups reversed tells us that spirit's message to you is that you can return to a time of happiness, but this is a time when a lot of emotions have spilled over here and it is going to be a challenging time. We have the two of swords. Okay, so at this time, the, you know, both of you are ending a cycle here. Um, this is your outcome card for the reading. And it basically says, it's almost like the hanged man position again. It's not moving forward. It's not breaking up. It's not being close. There's a lot of reversals here, but it's not as toxic. It may not be as happy as the happiest days that you've had in the past. But the Two of Swords says that both of you are not able to see messages because the crows represent messages that both of you are sort of stuck and I think very much in an energy of of just saying I don't know what to do I don't know what to say I'm just going to stay here and hope that we can you know make make it through to the other side and have a happy relationship again the three of cups the nine of cups are both very happy cards normally in the upright the page of cups says that sometimes the two of you believe that when pigs fly you know because we see a little pig here with wings that you'll be able to make this work. So I think there's a lot of skepticism on the part of both of you, Aries, at this time. You've had some really uh, challenging readings. I think last time the reading was really about a third-party situation within a family, and that certainly would explain, for those of you who for whom that applies, um, that would really explain why there's been so much happiness and uh, an unwillingness to really let things go. The Two of Wands is clarifying the Knight, or the uh, Nine of Wands. It speaks to the fact that you, the two of you are at a crossroads. The two of you need to make a decision about letting go of past hurts. The Hierophant says that both of you have traditional values. Both of you would like the same thing. You would like to have a stable, happy relationship. So when we get the Hierophant, we also have Taurus energy, very fixed energy, very supportive energy. The moon card, though, in the upright says that both of you are really confused. Smoky trails, you know, feeling lost at night, doesn't feel very comfortable. I feel as though emotionally that the two of you, when this energy was in the upright devil, I think that both of you said things that you probably shouldn't have said. The Mother of Pentacles, very nice energy. It shows that you're coming through Capricorn energy. We're coming into Capricorn season in the near future, you know, and we're seeing both of you being very serious about this relationship and trying to nurture it. The Mother of Swords, okay, there's our Judge Judy card, as I like to call it. You know, somebody who wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I think in the past, the two of you were very cutting with each other. And I think that words were spoken, maybe on both your parts, since it's a mutual energy, that were, you know, very, very, um, very much felt like a stab in the heart. So it's, uh, you know, there's that Three of Swords again. It also can mean that there is a third party energy in this relationship and here we go daughter of cups there we go i think we had that last week or uh, i think it was the fourth i uploaded the videos but that daughter of cups speaks again to possibly a family member you know could be a daughter but that's a page um 
Ten of Coins, possibly from another marriage. That is Virgo energy that, you know, has caused a lot of difficulty between the two of you. Okay, I like this energy. Your person really views you with this Nine of Cups card in the upright. They feel as though when things are good between the two of you, they're great. The Chariot card, Cancerian energy. We have Pisces and Cancerian energy. We also have Virgo energy. But the Chariot is, honey, I'm home. Your person wants to be able to come home be thrilled to be at home after hard days work and battle on the field of uh, life itself and we see your person really wanting they see you as their lover their soulmate they want to get back to that energy they feel as though that's going to be very important to the two of you uh, just for your basic happiness the eight of cups says that i believe that this person at some point has spoken of and i think you both have about the fact that the relationship may not make it through, but we do have this successful energy, the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Both of you really want this to work, but your person, that's their energy. They definitely want this to work, and they want it to be happily ever after. So we've had three marriage cards here between the two of you in this top row. The Hierophant, the Ten of Coins, which is a legacy marriage, and the happily ever after marriage. So what you want is really quite um, specific you know certainly your lover we get the two of swords okay so the two of swords is repeating here two of swords two of swords basically what I see you doing Aries is your response is to just try not to cause any any difficulties you'd rather it's sort of like the hear no evil see no evil speak no evil I'm gonna just take my time you're spending some time alone you're staying very cool calm and collected and that's Virgo energy so for, you know it's really good daily energy for you you are concentrating daily on really making this relationship something that you want it to be the star card we have Aquarius energy, the Nine of Wands again. You have fire in your belly to heal this relationship and to find your way back into happiness. Your person's coming in here as the Father of Cups at Scorpio energy. It is the King of Cups energy. Your person loves you very much. They don't tell you enough, I don't think. The Fool card, your person absolutely wants a new beginning with you. They want to start over. They want to... Uh, start fresh they want to start from a place of innocence uh, happiness joy naivete even ace of wands passion your person really has a lot of passion for you in this relationship we have the scorpio energy the four of wands your person felt as though you would marry then they felt as though you wouldn't marry but the Four of Wands, again, another great marriage card. It is the Twin Flame card. It is 1111. Your person feels as though you represent a better foundation than they've ever had in any relationship in the past. You represent home and hearth and joy when things are good between the two of you. That's the path they want to have with you. They don't want to have this relationship die off, and yet you're kind of in this weird state where I don't think your person knows exactly where the two of you stand right now. The energy that they have too, Ace of Swords. I love the Aces. Aces are new beginnings with the Fool card as a new beginning. The Ace of Swords is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But it is a card of clarity, and the truth hurts sometimes. But your person also understands that they are learning that they were a part of the problem. Not everybody likes to think they're a part of the problem, but the person is acknowledging that that's the case. Five of Wands says that your person also knows that they have involved themselves in ego-driven conflict with you and you them. A lot of fire sign energy here. Why is the Devil card here reversed? Seven of Swords. Ooh, there's been some real dishonesty that's been hidden. There's either been sneakiness, there's been some sort of you know, when we look at toxic behavior, lies, winning at all costs, sneaking around, you know, being very foxy with one eye open, watching the other person. But the Wheel of Fortune has indicated that both of you looks as though you've been quite 
uh, faithful to each other. You know, can't promise that. But for many of you, temperance card. That is absolutely finding that Sagittarius higher level energy to beat that devil energy out, not let the devil have its way. And we have Aries Queen. There you are, Aries, in your reading. Beautiful. I do get the Son of Cups here. There is a an energy, a masculine energy that's very childish, that's hidden between the two of you that may cause some of this sort of um, low-level or high-level ego um, in terms of fighting. But you both want to heal. You want to heal this relationship. Both of you are in this relationship hoping to win. The Five of Coins. Oh, look at that. Both of you have been very difficult for one another. Both of you have left the other feeling, you know, out in the cold. Spirit is saying that you that's you have to look up to find your happiness. You can't be you can't be in a negative mindset because with the Five of Coins, it's kind of a it's a spiritual card because what it means in the Rider Waite is when you see two people walking outside, no shoes, crutches, no coats, and there's snow on the ground, uh, that the church is right behind them. And so we see that when you're looking down and you're feeling you know, just unhappy, you need to let go of those burdens that is the advice from spirit because that is a story you tell yourself. The Four of Coins says that both of you are still holding back, but you're also holding on to one another. You're not really let, willing to let go. Ooh, nice energy. We now have the Father of Wands, which is Leo energy. And we have the Mother of Wands. Look at that. Look at that energy. Powerful energy. So both of you have a fiery... Ah, and now we have Leo energy again. So we see both of you very much fiery, passionate, deciding that that the other, each of you deciding that the other is the right person. The strength card says that you're not going to talk about a lot. Words seem to start these sort of arguments. And I'm getting the hanged man. Really looking at things from a different perspective. Really very much editing what you have to say. Making sure that you'd rather say nothing than to say the wrong thing. Which I think is very wise at this time. Both of you are very invested. But you've been in this relationship a while. You want it to be, oh, good, from the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles. We like it. So there is growth at this time in the relationship. It's about learning how to get along, how to communicate better, how to look at things from the other's perspective. And we have the Three of Cups upright. So the friendship is returning at this time. And it, it's very much because you're choosing not to take a negative path and there we go six of cups a reunion um i feel as though it's a reunion within the relationship coming back into that happiness and look at the page of pentacles they're making a very specific offer for you well the devil does you know there the holidays have a tendency to bring out the worst in some people and i think that once again we have a daughter so we've had the Daughter of Cups, Daughter of Pentacles. So I would say with the holiday season, there may be some sort of friction with a family member. But let's look and see what the clarifier is for the energy of the letting go. What is it that needs to be released? Daughter of Swords. Wow. Okay. Something that we have three daughters here. I can't ignore that. So something that a grown daughter says, I would say for many of you, this would only resonate if you're, you know, older, divorced, have children maybe that are whatever age they are. Uh, but if this relationship is w between two people without children, it simply means that one party or the other of you may be exhibiting some of this behavior. We do get the darkness is clarified by knowing that you both feel that your ship has come in, that life has provided you an excellent opportunity with this relationship. Spirit, give us information about the masculine, please. The death card. Okay. So death and rebirth. Let's see what else. Four of cups. Ooh. All right. So the masculine and the relationship seems to be five of swords. Ooh, I don't like that energy so much. 
So the masculine in this relationship is still in a situation where, you know, we do get the Six of Wands. They want a victory with the Judgment card. So I would say that the masculine in the relationship still thinks at certain times that they would leave the relationship. So, and again, I feel that it's very much maybe to do with a child they have that has caused some friction in the relationship. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. Thank you so much. I do have a special going on. You can check it out in the comment section below. It is 25% uh, off of telephone readings. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Thank you. Bye-bye.